Hello guys, here we are today back again. We're gonna do a little kind of chatty hair tutorial. I'm hesitant to call this a tutorial because I am brand new at using this thermal brush, but these things have gone viral and I'm playing with it a little bit. And I was like, let's turn the camera on and just talk about my initial thoughts. And then also share a couple things that I've learned in the short time that I've used this. I've used this like three times at this point. If you're new, my name is Sarah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go and let's jump right in. Okay, so for starters, um, I do have a little bit of hair in this, so I apologize, but this is the K&K &K Professional Thermal Round Brush. This is the 1.25 inch barrel, and I got this on Amazon, it was $99. Bought it myself, just saw a bunch of people using it, and I was like, I feel like I need to try that and see what the vibes are. So first and foremost, there's no temperature control, which I've seen a lot of people say is like their biggest hang up. I haven't seen a temperature control on any of these, so that is a little concerning. That said, this doesn't seem to me to be getting that hot. Like, I use much hotter tools when I'm curling, blow drying, doing all the things to my hair. This does not make my hair feel like hot to the touch. Oh my God, I can't touch it. So that makes me feel like it's fine. I also am always, always, always using a heat protectant. So just wanted to caveat with that. Basically, I just was playing around with this the other day and then today I was like, let's practice a little bit. So what I've learned is you wanna section off your hair first and foremost. So just wanna grab a little clippy and then I just like to do half and half. I don't have that much hair, so it's honestly pretty easy for me. If you have a lot of hair, you might wanna do three sections, but for me, I definitely don't need to. So I've basically already styled my head, but what I've been noticing is it's not holding as well as I want it to. And I think maybe it's because I'm not holding the tool on as, as long as I should, but I've been grabbing sections that that are relatively thin, like pretty skinny, and I've been doing the rolling motion. So I start at the bottom and I kind of roll it up like it's a curling iron kind of. Let it sit for a second. You just wanna make sure this hair is not overlapping. And then I grab the top of the hair and kind of twist this out. And then I twist it around with my finger. And it gives you this like really nice curl. I think it just takes a little time to kind of like finesse and learn and figure out how your hair is gonna respond. And so I'll do it like maybe a couple times until I really get what I want. Um, and then I'll just work my way around the head. I wasn't doing this motion at the beginning. I was kind of just flipping the ends under and I liked it. So if you have hair where you just want to like spruce up the ends, you're going to love this because it's so quick and easy. But honestly, I just want you to like see, like look at that, how quick and easy that is. And like I said, I don't have much hair. So the bottom section of my hair is really only like three or four pieces, which makes this so quick for me. But this has been the technique that I have found. You can even do like one brush through and then do it just to warm it up a little bit. But this is the technique that I have found has worked the best. The biggest thing to note is don't let your hair overlap because if it does, it's nearly impossible to kind of unwind it like this. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue this process on the bottom layer. And yeah, like I said, I think I just need to be holding it longer. I just don't really have the patience. And I also think I need a good, um, I need to put like a good styling cream or a good hairspray in after, which I am all out of right now. Look, look at this. How pretty is that? And this side, it's like still curled, but it has fallen out. And that is what bums me out. So I need to just figure out better how to make it last. Um, and again, I think that might just be a matter of product because I don't have anything in my hair. My hair is really clean and I have a hard time getting a curl to hold in general in my hair. So I think I just need to be like maybe spraying it after every curl or what could be fun with this is doing rollers. But again, that feels like a lot of work. Like I feel like this tool is just all convenience because it's so quick. But I think maybe I need to like pin them and let them cool, not like just hanging there. My hair has also been getting pretty long, so I do feel like it's, I don't know, it can be pulled down pretty easily, but how easy is this? So this technique took me a couple tries to learn and twisting it with your finger is really important too, but look at that curl I'm getting. It's really crazy. And I don't feel like I have any other tool like this. Like my Dyson doesn't do this. My regular curling iron doesn't give this type of like finished product. So 
I love that about it because I do have so many hair tools and I was like very hesitant to buy another one because it's like getting excessive. But if it doesn't do anything that the other ones do, I'm fine with it. I also love how light it is. To travel with this would be a dream, especially when you're going on vacation. All right, so I'm gonna put all this hair back and then pull this hair down and I'll just do, just do this section for, well, I could probably just let it ride. So everything that's done is in the back of my head. Everything not done here. Though, it, it this is basically done. This is just like three hours later falling out, so I'm touching up. But again, like it shouldn't fall out in three hours. That's my one hang up. But anyway, like I was saying, traveling with this, it's so light, it'd be so easy to pack. I'm definitely gonna bring it on my trip to Florida in a few weeks because I feel like when you're traveling, you're not like really spending a ton of time doing your hair. It's just nice to have something like this where you can easily touch up or just like put a little bit of like a curl on the ends, whatever. So I think if your hair naturally holds a curl pretty well, maybe you have thicker hair, like more coarse, mine is super fine and super soft. Like everything just kind of like falls out of it. Um, but if your hair is not like that, I think you're going to be obsessed with this. Like I think this is gonna work even better in your hair. But if you are similar to me, I would just say we need to find a good like hold hairspray or a good something for pre-styling which I'm sure I have something over there that I could use, but I just I just didn't today. I like this because with the Dyson and the Shark and all those like blow dryer tools, you really have to have wet hair. And I let my hair air dry a lot. So I like hate having to re-wet my hair to style it again. You know what I mean? So the fact that I could just do this on dry hair this morning, like I washed my hair last night, I let it air dry, I like put it up in like a nice, fun so I could sleep on it. And then when I took it out, my hair was obviously like not great, but it was fine and it was clean. So I was like, this is perfect because it's nice and dry and I can just use this little guy and give myself a little curl. I'm also trying to figure out these front pieces a little bit more because these were curtain bangs at one point and now they're just like an awkward length. I'm trying to grow them out. So those can become a little flicky, like a little flicky outy, you know what I'm saying? So I am trying to finesse that. I think, just depending on what your haircut is, you'll be able to figure that out on your own. But again, I just, I mean, you're watching me do this live. I just can't believe how this thing works so well and so fast. And if you didn't want that much of a curl, you don't have to do that wrapping motion like I was. You can really just curl the ends, like I said, but look at this. I mean, how I've been filming for eight minutes since the start of this video. It's probably a little shorter for you guys because of editing, but eight minutes. And then, I mean, I'll probably, this is probably like a 10 minute hairstyle with some good hairspray and some good hold. I think, I think we're going to be obsessed. So let's do the front pieces together because I found doing these a little bit differently has worked where I'm holding this at a different angle and I'm it's a lot harder and it's easy to get your hair stuck. But I feel like doing it this way and doing it this way, depending on what side you're on, helps. Like putting the barrel behind your head and then giving it a little hold and then twisting it out. Whereas with these pieces, I would do it. Oh wait, this is, is this the same way? Bear with me guys, I'm new to this. I guess it is the same way. It just felt different. But look at the, look at this. Also, what I didn't mention, the shine on this thing or the shine that this is giving my hair is really wild because I don't have like super naturally shiny hair. My hair is definitely more shiny right now than usual because I'm pregnant, but genuinely the immediate shine I get, I'm like, yeah. Even if I were to just comb this through straight hair, like I said, and just do the ends, it would give your hair like a nice shine, even if you don't want to curl it. I would say this is probably the most advanced way to use this tool is like this. So again, I mean, I don't have much else to say about this other than I wish it was holding better, but that may be a hair product, not issue, but something we can solve with some product or if your hair is different than mine. You can see when I wrap it, I start at the bottom and I just roll it up like it's a curler. Just again, make sure these two don't overlap and then let that sit. I mean, this feels like Victoria's Secret hair kind of. You know what I mean? Like that very effortless curled wave of like the Victoria's Secret Angels. Like this is how I feel like this, how they did their hair. 
because whenever I curl my hair, the curls like come out and this feels very just like long and effortless and pretty and I don't know, I like it. I like it. You guys tell me what you think. I mean, I can't believe how quick that was and it feels like a salon blowout. It really does. Gotta work on these front pieces a little bit. I think maybe the curl needs to be a little higher or it's just like the length of my hair, but I like how you can be very specific about where you place it. Like that was sticking out. So I'm just gonna put that right here to try and get it to lay down and look at that. Okay, so beware if you buy this or you buy something like this, it takes a little practice. Like the first time I used it, I was like just combing my hair with it and I was like, okay, hey, what now? <laughs> So if you try this technique, I think you'll you'll feel better about it. But I definitely like it took me a couple times using it to be like, okay, I get it. So just be patient with it and bear with yourself. I feel like it's always like, what's the word? I want to say discouraging, but I know that's not a word. The opposite of encouraging. When you see someone who styles their hair with a tool and you're like, oh, they just did it perfectly. That looked so easy for them. I can't do it. Trust me. Um, that, that's how I feel every time I get something new. But I have found, look at the curl. I have found that just like trying it like two to three times. Watch a few tutorials, Google it. You know, get on TikTok and Instagram. I'm telling you, everyone's using these. I could probably watch a few more tutorials myself just to get better at it, but keep practicing and figure out what works for you and like what angles to hold it and all of that. And I think you guys are gonna love it. Also this thing, um, it turns on and uh, turns on, heats up super fast. I could probably show you. So, okay, that's off. On is this long. Okay, it's on. Well, yeah, okay, it's already hot. So it beeps, I would say 30 seconds and it's hot, which again, convenience, baby, quick, convenience. Did I mention this thing comes with a glove? I meant to. Um, I don't really know what you would use the glove for. I don't see any need for it at this point. Maybe I'm missing it. You guys let me know if you can think of anything, but look at this. No product in my hair. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to keep using her. I'll come back maybe with like a real tutorial tutorial. If you guys end up liking this video, um, where hopefully I've mastered this in the next couple of weeks and I've got some good products for us to use to keep it lasting and holding. But I hope you guys enjoy this little chatty, kind of like, I feel like we were like on FaceTime a little bit, just like chatty, live, first impression kind of tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one.